Hey guys, this week in the rundown, there's an update to the co-location policy for assigning dual military spouses. We're preparing for Sexual Assault Awareness and Prevention Month, or SAPM. The E9 board convenes next week, and NPC has released a brochure on the Zika virus to help protect service members. NPC has updated the policy for dual military family assignments. The policy updates can be found in Millspurs Man 1300-1000, which addresses several topics related to co-location, including couples on OCONUS duty, simultaneous sea duty, co-location requests, and restrictions to the policy. Also, check out the story by NPC on Navy Live that lists the five things dual military couples should know on the policy update. April is Sexual Assault Awareness and Prevention Month, and to highlight it, we will have an interview with the director of the 21st Century Sailor Office and the Navy Sapper Officer, Rear Admiral Burkhart. Rear Admiral Burkhart plans to address the importance of looking out for our shipmates through intervention, speaking up when something's wrong, and using the resources we are provided. Be sure to stay tuned next week for that interview. Records of more than 3,000 active duty senior chiefs will be reviewed by the Master Chief Selection Board when it convenes in Millington, Tennessee, March 29th. Advancement quotas by rating will be posted on the All Hands magazine next week after the board begins. Finally, NPC has released a brochure on their website designed to help protect service members from contracting the Zika virus. The brochure includes facts on the Zika virus, tips to avoid being affected, and resources to further answer your questions. Download the brochure by clicking on the link on the NPC homepage. Well, that's all for this week. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople at gmail.com. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.